Claudia, when you hear the word old, <laughs> what do you think? That's a great question. Um, and you want to get ready, because I'm about to ask the same question. Leave Nikki for last, because it's going to be hilarious. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I think it's a blessing. Um, I, I, I do. I mean, it, it is, you know, I just found through the years, you just become so much happier. And um, you know, I'll, I'll tell a story. Um, it's probably been 20 years now. I was actually living in New Jersey and here in Washington, and an old woman from Harlem sat next to me, and she said to me, she held my hand, and she said, "Baby, do you know the worst thing we do to, for our kids?" And I said, "Well, at that time, I said yes, ma'am. I was younger." And um, <laughs> and um, she says, "We teach our children that life is easy, that they can get whatever they want." But life is really hard, and you have to work at it, and you have to work to be happy. And what I think is as you get older is you realize what that means, and you really do work. And Michelle, you talked about living joyously. You learn how to live joyously even through bad times and hard times. So you know, at this point, I would say, you know what? I'm good. I don't want to be young. I'm fine with someone saying I'm old, because that means I'm seasoned and that I know, you know what season I'm in, and it's a season that makes me happy, it's a season that makes me joyous, um, you know, it makes me fierce and fearless, and you know, old is just great. Not bad. <laughs> okay, Michelle? I mean, it's such a great question, and it takes my husband to tell you how I am allergic to age. And someone saying, oh, you're 40, you're, I'm 56. And when I have to write down my age on an application or something, I literally have to go back and calculate. Now, I was born in 19, actually I'm 55. We're the same age. Yes. I have to go out and calculate it. Because I don't think about it. Because to what end? You know, there's a reason why it's the past, the pe present, and the future. That present is a gift. And I'm, if I'm busy thinking about, well, what does this mean? One, I'm too, I'm too self-absorbed. You know, I just should be thinking about the moment. Am I getting the, me the most out of it? And, and being grateful for the wisdom that I've gained. I now, I now have a view of how life works. And I have evidence. Of, of that. You know, um, Albert Einstein said the first question that you really should ask yourself in any circumstance is, is the world a friendly place? Is it friendly? Is it neutral? Or is it unfriendly? Because that then defines the lane you travel down. Because if it's unfriendly, you're going to be on guard. Oh, they think I'm old. I'm not going to you know, be able to do such and such or it's neutral, nothing that matters. No, the world is a friendly place. Because for me, God is love. So it's friendly. So it's friendly for me at this age. And I don't want a, a narrative that's out there with folks who have time to have a narrative dictate who they are or how they see the world. No, I have my own narrative that's been given to me and passed, you know, from my mother and grandmother, sitting at my grandmother's knee, you know, she told me how the world worked. And now I know it for myself. You are the author of the only dictionary that defines you. That is it. So someone could call me old or fat or short or dumb, whatever they wanted to call me. That, that's a distraction. I'm just me, the only one that exists in the world. And I want the best of this moment right now. And no one's going to take my joy. I got I'm good. I got I'm joyful. Linda, what you got? <laughs> Thank God. And I'm older than the two of you. <laughs> um, every day, grateful. And I feel like every day you wake up, that's all you got to do. Just get up in the morning. You know, we all try to do what we can do. We try to be our best selves. I try to, try to eat healthy, don't do it all the time. Try to exercise, don't do it all the time. 
But the thing I can do all the time, all day long, is be grateful for you know, the friends I have, the family I have, for my children, you know, the people around me who keep me going, you know, for the, the people I get to work with who come in every day and are committed to trying to make sure that, that women everywhere can live their be best selves. I mean, that is, at the end of the day, you know, we, we talk about this at, at the office all the time, on your dying bed, you, you'll never say, gee, I wish I spent more time in the office, ever, <laughs> you know? It's, I should have spent more time with my family and friends and people who love me. So that's what this is about, and to be grateful that you're here at this moment in time with the people that you have who can love you and whom you can love. I love gratitude is being added to our list. I am going to go to the eldest member of our panel and the youngest member of our panel, but I probably should share mine. I learned adjustments, old things, just make adjustments. You know, like I now dress in layers. I was hot just a minute ago, I took that jacket off, okay? <laughs> At any given moment, I might be cold. <laughs> so you make adjustments, you know? I love stiletto heels. Um, but towards the afternoon, after being in them all day, it might hurt. So I got the little flat teaks in the bag. I mean, right there. I mean, I just make adjustments. And they're happy adjustments because I'm nimble. Um, that's my word. I'm nimble. I can adapt um, to whatever environment. I can turn into that chameleon and work it. Just give me an environment, throw me in it. You know, you throw me into a pack, I'll come back leading it. That's just who I am. I'm nimble. So that's mine. So, Simone, I'm going to go to you. What do you think when you think old? Don't you say nothing wrong now. <laughs> oh, goodness. I, I mean, I don't think it's a word I really think of a lot, um, just because I don't find myself asking people how old they are. Um, it doesn't matter, <laughs> to be quite frank. And I feel that's synonymous with what everyone's saying. But what I've found the value in people that I have met who are older than me, objectively, is that, yeah, exactly, everyone's older than me, um, <laughs> is, is as a younger person having that humility to be a vessel to all of those people around you, young and old. Um, if I'm able to learn a nugget of wisdom from every single person in this room, then it takes your all's lessons learned, and then I become the lessons implemented. Um, and throughout your life, the things... <laughs> yeah, so the things that you guys have maybe made mistakes on, I don't have to make those same mistakes. And then I can share with others, and this is really the, the mission of the Corps of Cadets and me as the commander of them, is if these younger classes coming in can learn from my lessons, they will be propelled off of the challenges and maybe um, deficiencies that I have experienced and had to navigate. So when I would say old would be a great opportunity for me. If someone's old, please, like, let me learn from you something, and I will be better off for it, and you will be excited to see how someone else was able to overcome something you struggled with. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Nikki, before we go out to the audience for their questions, what's old? You know, everybody hates to ask me a question because half an hour later I answer. But um, <laughs> my good friend, whom I love so much, Kwame Alexander, uh, Kwame's mother died uh, recently. And it, you can look at me and see that I've had some health issues. And I'm not really allowed right now to travel alone. So I'm very fortunate to have people to travel with me. But I wrote a poem for Kwame. It's not a great poem. I just wanted to share it with you all. And the one thing that I wanted to say was, and of course it's true, we hold them, speaking as a mother, we hold them when they're born, and they hold us when we die. And I wanted, to, I wanted to, to say that, but for Kwame's mother, and I wanted to share that, I wish she could have heard it, she got to see her dream come true. She got to see her son become what he wanted to be. And so if there was a way to talk to her, I, I, wish, I wish that I could. I don't know why I wanted to share that with you. But I, I dealt with the eighth grade recently. I, I'm, I'm a sucker for anything. If, if Jenny can take me, I go. And I was dealing with the eighth grade recently, and a kid asked me, what do you do about loneliness? And I said to her, because it's true, uh, I like myself and I like my life and all of that, but 
you're going to be lonely. It, it, it just, it goes with the, with the territory. And honest to God, you know, it, it's not going to change because you can drink or because you can do drugs. It's just not going to change. But I also point out, of course, if you're knowing any kids, please tell them don't smoke. Because if they smoke, they can't go into space. They can go into space, but they can't come back. And so they can't smoke. If you drink, you can go into space and come back. You see what I'm saying? But, <laughs> you know that. <laughs> but if you smoke, you... <laughs> I just thought I'd mention that because some, you, you... I think you watched Hidden Figures like several times, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted to... I just think you're asking what... My goal in life was to be sane. And the person that I most admire, in, in all fairness to everybody, is that woman on the 10th day, for those of you who know anything about history, in Middle Passage, because it was the 10th day. I'm not going to do that because I'll be here all day. But that woman, and it had to be on that 10th day, that recognized wherever it was we were going, we were going to go there. We're not going to go back. Nothing's going to change. A lot of us know our African history and they say, oh, you know, we're going to go back home. No, home is going to be where we're going. She knew that. Mm -hmm. And she hummed because she didn't, there was no language. There's no language called African. And she hummed. And somebody picked up that hum. And when they got to what was going to become the United States of America, she had brought with her this song. And that's who I, that's who I, that's who I want to be. I want to be that song. So that whatever it is, we recognize this is it, and it goes forward. That's that's all I can do. That's all. Bye bye.